at Hampton Court. Any politician hoping to influence the Queen in the early years of her reign needed access to her private study. The Queen was both extremely ill and extremely shy. She kept away from high society. She kept herself to herself, mainly in the company of her ladies. So, if you were an ambitious politician, how would you get access to her reclusive majesty? Well, there are two routes. Here's the official way. Firstly, you'd come up this epically grand staircase with its magnificent murals. Right down at the other end there is Queen Anne's study. It seems an awfully long way away. And between us and it, there are all these different rooms, each with its own door and its own lock and its own guard. These rooms form a hierarchy. And the more important you are, the deeper you're allowed to penetrate into the palace. But ultimately, it was the Queen's favourite who decide whether you're allowed into the royal presence or not. But this isn't the only way in to see the Queen. These are the back stairs. It's a working part of the palace. This is where servants would bring things up to the Queen's study. The only people who are supposed to use these stairs are the servants themselves and, of course, the Queen's favourite. And it was the Queen's number one favourite, Sarah Churchill, who controlled that backstairs access to Anne. Clever politicians knew that they had to go through her for an audience with their monarch. The power-hungry Sarah now had even more influence. One of the Queen's first appointments was Sarah Churchill's husband, Lord Marlborough. He was keen to go to war with France to crush the Catholic threat. He would lead the Queen's army. To many historians, this looks like a blatant favour to Sarah and the Whigs. But it's a myth that Anne was a mere puppet, whose strings were pulled by politicians. Look closer and you'll see the Queen played a significant role in political affairs. Anne is clever enough to take advice, but she's also put both Whigs and Tories into her cabinet. She's no pushover. If any of the Whigs think I am to be frightened or hectored into compliance because I am a woman, they are mightily mistaken in me. Bravo, Your Majesty. <laughs> <laughs>